Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back on the train life where I'm hauling two cars of grain out to Bremen um, and everything's fine. Every, every, is everything fine? Uh, yeah. Yeah, everything's fine at the moment. Uh, night is falling a little and that's that's super. Um, no, I don't I don't need to talk to those people. Uh, and uh, and I'm, I'm progressing around the side of Mannheim up towards other German cities as I go towards Bremen. Uh, the, uh, the adventure so far has cost me about eight grand in fines. But no, no, it hasn't. No, it's only cost me about six grand in fines. I, I'm exaggerating for no good reason. Um, that's, I've paid about six grand in fines so far. This job pays 90k. It's a job worth doing. I just figured something out. Amazing scenes. There was a uh, flashing signals with 80 written underneath, but the speed limit didn't change. And therefore, what those signals were doing was cautioning me that this 120 clip that I'm allowed to do at the moment is about to drop to 80 at the next marker. I, th I reckon, again, we're on, a, we're on a, a curve of learning that is not always, that is not always completely bendy. Um, and, uh, and as such, we'd... I'm, I'm feeling my way, friends, uh, towards the, the depth of knowledge that will mean I can do jobs like this without incurring huge amounts of penalty uh, every time. So this should be an 80 limit. I'm not sp Oh, I am speeding. Okay, no, you're all right. Stay on track, stay on track. Sorry. Yeah, I, everything was going great, and then I took my eye off the ball a little bit, and we kept going fast. Anyway, that's another fine. Uh, it's okay. I can, I can pay those later. Maybe. I'm fairly certain it's deducting them straight away. Otherwise, why would my money be going down? No, that's a good question. Um, but uh, you don't know that. No, I don't. I'll have to keep an eye on the next fine that I incur and see if it's, uh, if it's deducted from my, uh, from my savings account directly. Uh, or whether I have to you know, go to the bank and do a kind of contactless transaction. Uh, at some point in the future. Anyway, we've got a heck of a long way to go, and I've got until about 3 p.m. Uh, to uh, to make this delivery. I've done, uh, let's say 2 p.m. for the sake of argument. What's this telling me? I don't know. It's telling me there's a 120. Then you've got a 120. Go go go. All right. Well, let's let's do that then. Don't wheel slip. Uh, what you could you have to you have to main, manage your throttle usage. To ensure that you uh, you don't get you don't get slippage. See, if I were to uh, overjuice it, then there'd be slippage, and that's that's just not that's not a lifestyle that I'm into. Uh, no, we'll we'll keep it real. Okay, what we've got flashing here? We've got an 80 coming up. Now, is this the A? Yes, this is the 80. All right, top board is the one we're interested in. Okay, yeah, it still feels like I'm on the wrong side of the track. I know, but look, it's it's not going to steer you onto onto the wrong side of the track, though, is it? You don't know that. No, I don't. You're right. Okay, come on, get us under limit. Otherwise, we'll get we'll get busted by Johnny Law. There we are. Eighty-one in an eighty feels feels respectable to me. Doesn't feel like I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm abusing the good people of uh, of Germany's willingness to allow me the use of a train. Um, so that should be all good, right? Come on, let's let's get some upward tempo going. This is a very long journey. I'm not going to take another journey this length until later. Yeah, I've, I want to complete this one. This would better level me up to like level five thousand. I'm level one currently. Uh, I, I very much suspect that one has to complete a job in order to get paid in terms of experience. Uh, give me some more acceleration. We've got this upward uh, upward slope coming, and uh, and we want to handle that. Okay, what are you? You're a ninety. Does that mean now? It said fifteen hundred underneath. So does that mean we've got a ninety limit in fifteen hundred meters, which is a kilometer and a half? Ah, interesting. And why why are you showing me that flashing light? Oh my, we might struggle to get up here. Crumbs, talk about a tricky grade. Watch out, an approaching train has been spotted. Well, whatever. I'm just hoping I can keep this train moving. 
more power. There you go. No, we've got it. We've got it. We've got it. We've got it. It'd be nice if this approach, if we got to see this approaching train, just because it, you know, it's good to feel like you're not alone in the world. There we go. That's the stuff. I've taken 3% damage somewhere. Oh, yeah, I accidentally deployed the emergency brake when, uh, when I was intending to sound the horn. Because, obviously, the emergency brake on this is spacebar. And I'm used to using spacebar to do the horn. Right, it's a 500 down bubble. And it's going to be exciting. All right, I'll, uh, I'll throttle right off, then. Next speed limit is a 90. Then we'll maintain... Oh, crumbs, there's a lot going on here. I think you want to stop. I think I want to stop as well. All right, put the brakes on. Put the brakes on. It's only flashing. Apparently the track's still clear. I, I don't believe that. All right, let's roll through this. Okay, we haven't been busted so far. Was that flashing red light telling me that the next light that I come across is going to be a red light? Don't know. We've got deer for the next 950 metres. Okay. Alright, well, anyone for venison? Uh, just, I, I'm telling you this, I don't know. I know, and that's what makes it great. That, that you don't know means that you, you're actually having to pay attention and study and learn and what have you. Well, all right. Well, look, I'm paying attention. Yes. Studying. Let's put that down as a marginal. Learn. Phew, yeah, I don't say anything could happen. Uh, your guess is almost as good as mine. Um, but it's it's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna proceed with due caution. It looks it all looks clear, man. Look, these signals are all green. I'm doing 84 and a 90. We're fine. I don't need to be going faster than this. And this is an 80. There you go. See, look. Oh, tree branch. We'll be fine. Hard to say for sure whether that tree branch was, in fact, uh, a, a bit of scenery that just, you know, at a, at a moment where it went like, I don't want to be here. Or whether that was an, a piece of adverse track problem. But given that we went straight through it without so much as any kind of crunching sound, I reckon we're probably okay. Probably. We're probably okay. Couldn't say we're 100% okay, but we're probably okay. Right, we've got a crossing doodah in 150 metres, and that sometimes requires me to, to respond to the switcheroos uh, a little bit more swiftly. All right, here you go. See, look, there was one. Yeah, you've got to get up earlier than that. All right, what now? Nothing. Apparently you've done it. No, 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 there we go. Look, it's it's all there. Yeah, it is all there. And we're all on it while it's there. What does that even mean? I don't know. But 73, so far, is feeling like a jolly good speed to be doing. It's neither too fast or too slow. We've got a switch and a bridge zone and a free track and a speed limit. Yeah, okay. That's all right. Don't stop panicking. That ballast is a little bit out of whack. This apparently is a 50. Am I in a 50 now? No, you got that was a warning of a 50. Well, how am I supposed to know if it's a warning or if it's the real deal? Uh, experience. All right, Franklin Warehouse coming up. Right, let's ease off on this. Let's give them. Let's get them on the blower. Uh, Franklin Warehouse services station access, please. Thank you. All right, good. That came up a little quicker than I was anticipating. How are we doing for fuel? Half a tank. Okay. You're in a 50. Easy. No, no, power. No, slow, 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 slow. Thank you. All right. Now, keep your eye on the point settings. There we are. And uh, and we'll be going. Oh, there we go. So not, another day, another warehouse. And it's not Frank. It's Frankfurt. That's a city you've heard of. I, guess I think that's also a city I've been to. But then you've got even less excuse for, for misspelling the whatnot. Change of points. All right. Okay. No, that's good. I haven't had a fine in a little while, you know. It almost feels unnatural. And yet, here we are. Yeah, you can get the speed up a little bit more. All right, okay. Do you want to consult the map and see how far away we are? It's just going to depress me. I'll wait till we're outside Frankfurt, and then I'll have a look. We've still got a way to go. Yeah. 
I mean, for a company that started out in, in Munich, you sure, you've sure gone a long way up, up to the north of Germany here. Yeah, there's some dudes there having a chat. And uh, they, I don't know what they're talking about, but they seem to be well and truly into that conversation. That's uh, all good. Right, leaving the station zone. We're about to hit an 80. Uh, and then we've got a 120 in 1,000 metres. Is, if I'm reading that correctly, which I believe I am, um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll just see that I think we can get back to our happy, happy 73 kilometres an hour and then everything will be good. All right, we've spotted another train and I can see it. It's ahead of us. I'm assuming it's on the other track, in which case we might have an overtaking opportunity coming up, which could be very exciting indeed. It might not be, but uh, but I'm, I'm hoping it's exciting. Uh, the next track limit is 100, which is here. Yeah, top sign is now, bottom sign is next. Okay, good. Flashing light thing indicates a, uh, a speed limit. Uh, if the top thing isn't occupied, then it's just cautioning you as to the uh, as to a speed limit change that's coming up, and that will probably be a downward speed limit change. No, you're spitballing there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're. The, I I think you're just making that up. Oh, it got loud because we're in a tunnel. Yeah. Okay. I very much want to catch up that train. Catch up with that train. Uh, that. Because frankly, that that would make it for me if I would if I were to overtake another train all of a sudden, that would make me very very happy. Uh, but I can't see it happening, and apparently I'm about to slide in behind it. Well, those signals were all clear. That one's not though. No. I'll flip it. Oh come on! That's oh that's unreasonable. That's unfair. I have no opportunity to uh, to react to that. There's the train go. Yeah, and I'm now uh, I'm now behind it. All right. Well, look, if you, it's going to be at or just below limit. Uh, so as long as I do the same, we should beat this one's red as well. No, oh, no. You get no warning of this stuff in the sli in the slightest, no warning at all. It's like a it's like a signal. Whoop, it's like the signal operator's mad. Uh, we're right. We've got a station zone here. Oh, where are we? Uh, power plant, uh, Cologne. All right. Uh, I'd like to go through the station, please. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Good. Power on. Power on. Power on. Don't come to a full stop while you're going uphill. Should have waited. Should have waited. I don't think that the track is actually occupied. I think that train went the other way because that's the way the points were set. I had to change the points in order to go this way. When you saw that other train, instead of going for an acceleration uh, passing maneuver, what you should have done is slowed down and been ready to stop. Oh, you're such a goody two-shoes. No, I'm such a trying to save you the money of, uh, of burning it all on fines. We've burned another 2k since we like that. Uh oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, all bad, all bad. There are no, it's okay. Found a route out. Found a route out. We're going too fast. Slow it down. There you are. Right, there you go. Turn that back off again. Do pay attention, 007. I mean, you know, keep it together. Right, there we are. I want to a couple of blokes having a chat. Nice. Nice. Yeah. All right. Okay, we'll put some power on. We don't need to. Uh, we don't need to be too genteel now. I think we've been through the hazardous section. Uh, fuel, just under half a tank, and I, and I think we are definitely over halfway now. Uh, but it's anybody's guess, really. I mean, uh, I don't, it would be nice if I could look up something that would give me an estimated time of arrival. That would be nice. Do you want to have a poke around some menus? Well, the only problem with poking around some menus is that you, uh, the, the, you, you freeze, the, the game stops. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, undoubtedly there is a, there is a benefit to uh, to the game pausing while you're ne negotiating with paperwork. But even so, 
it would be uh, it would be happy to uh, to be able to keep rolling and bring up my clipboard of uh, of today's assignment. Right, here's my clipboard of today's assignment. Uh, yeah, it's closed, it's, uh, Dresden. Now the cities also level up. When they've had a certain amount of stuff delivered, they will level up, which presumably means they will then start shipping more. I've done 700 kilometers now. Um, total company cash made, yeah, none. Total player cash made, also zero. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, company, yes. Ma oh, hold on. Amount earned from employees in the last 24 hours, nothing. Amount earned from employees each day, nothing. Uh, number of wagons delivered, none. Uh, I think... We just got we got uh, big fat zeros across the board there. Here's my train. Right, I've got twelve hours and twenty five minutes remaining to make the delivery. What happens if I miss the delivery? If I get nothing, I'll be just incredibly annoyed. I'll, I'm quite happy to take a time penalty on the uh, on the payment, but beyond that, no, 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 no. I've got no perk points. Yeah. Fine reduction. Interesting. Uh, goods. What's goods processing time? Uh, I don't know how that. Be how does that benefit me? Do you? May ah oh, no. Oh, ooh. part of me says, yeah. When you drop this grain off, they're going to process it, and you have to take it back again. I go, I don't want to take it back again. Maybe ah, maybe there are some jobs that have a uh, an intrinsically written. You have to take it back again. I think. This is just a, a your stretching. Anyway, level unlocks. Uh, just, uh, yeah. There you go. I need 1,300 experience. Well, we're still, we're still yet to find out how much experience this job will pay. It better be a lot. It had better be a lot. This is a lot of effort to put in for not a lot of it. I ought, I better hit like level five minimum uh, coming out of this job. And the reason I say that is because I've been driving for an hour and a bit, and that's that's a lot, right? That's 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 quite a lot. Now, th this is where games really have have no winning opportunity uh, available to them at all. Because how do you balance it? Where's the where is your balancing point? Do you want to reward someone who is going to come in and play eight hours of your game and then never come back? Or are you looking to continue to provide objectives for people to pursue who've sunk in hundreds, hundreds of hours? So, you know, let's say that there's a, a an unlock tree, as it were, uh, within the game. There's a 60 coming up. Yeah, all right. Um, and it's here. All right, okay, breaks, 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 breaks. Yeah, let's say there's a, you know, a tech tree of unlocks, right, for the sake of argument. And... Uh, that's split over 50 levels how many hours of gameplay should it take an average player to unlock everything well what you must first decide is how many hours is an average player going to sink into the game second the other consideration are those unlocks going to motivate people to play more so if they feel like uh, that there's a there's a level that is in within uh, achievable time, will they play more in order to uh, in order to get that unlock? So let's say for example you're you're level ten and something really cool happens at level eleven, uh, and based on your your earning rate so far, that will take you about you know half an hour to reach. Does that tempt you to play another half an hour of the game? Because it's not about, you know, can I get someone to play the game that they bought? That's going to happen. It's uh, it's more a case of can you get them to stick around long enough to then maybe leverage them into, uh, into buying a bit more kit? Car Mechanic's a great example of this because it's, they got it completely wrong with 2018. You had to put in hundreds of hours in order to unlock the spray shop to paint cars you just kind of go no that's that's too much time i can count probably on both hands the number of games on which i've played over 100 hours and uh 
uh, were yeah, in the last 20 years, right? Last 20 years, I can probably count on both hands the number of games I've played over 100 hours. And those are the extremes. I don't get to 100 hours in most games because I haven't got that kind of time. I've got money, but I haven't got time. Uh, kids have time, but no money, right? So there, that's, there, there's the balancing, there's a balancing act to be done. I've spotted an oncoming train. Oh, it's an approaching, it's not necessarily oncoming. That's a, that's a good distinction there. Is that it? It looks it looks rather stationary to me. Woo, 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 woo. Apply all the brakes, apply all the brakes, apply all the brakes. Apply the big brake. That's not an approaching train, that's a train that's in my ruddy path. Move it, son! I ain't got all day. I've got to be. I've got to be there in a bit. You've got to. You've got to give me some credit there for actually stopping. Uh, yeah. No. See, I've got a red signal. Yeah. And I've got a stopped train ahead of me. Yes. Now I can't jump out of my cab to go and find out why the train stopped. And if I look at the map and I zoom right in. It gives me no further information as to why the train stopped. Now, it looks like it's heading towards Cologne, Maine. That's fine. Also, if I'm going to Cologne, Maine, I'm going to have to turn around. Oh, I need to do a little bit of a, a, a choppy changey chopperoo. Okay, driver map. No details. Okay. Well, we're not going to Cologne, so that's that's all good. Hopefully, they are going to Cologne. I've got to go up flaming Dortmund. Yeah. No, I've got nothing against Dortmund, you understand? I've been there too. Uh, but that's that's not a point. All right. Well, look, let's just sit here and wait and see if something transpires. Maybe this is a big part of the game. Sitting here doing nothing. Maybe. All right. Well, I've been sat here for an hour of game time now. And what's really cool is I've got a fog bank rolling in. Uh, that's that's amazing because uh, I can I, the train is still there. You can still see it. It's here, but you can only barely make it out. That's just tremendous. In terms of of delivering on things that will require you to keep your wits about you, this really delivers. Uh, but I've got a feeling that what I'm going to need to do here is redirect myself around this train. I don't know how long it's going to be stopped for, and I don't have the time to be waiting for, uh, you know, action. Alright, I've been sat behind this train now for about two hours. I'm got, I've am i got no choice. I've got to back up. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's going to be the best way of accomplishing that? Yeah, put it in reverse. Switching the track and trying an overtake maneuver. Now that there, that signal that I'm pointing at is uh, is not problematic. That one is is it's a clear signal. All right. Well, I, I, we're in learning curve mode and we don't want to be late. So uh, let's let's do just that. Right. Let's back her up ever so slightly. How much trouble this gets me into, I've no idea. But if we take this switch, we can possibly avoid the avoid the drama yeah I don't know if we will avoid the drama but we might be able to now I've got to do something complicated in Cologne I've got to go and find a depot and turn around so I can head up the next section of track but that's going to be well worth it because I've because I've got to do it right okay I slow that off and wait till we're clear of the points here I mean, this is breaking, you know, every rule in the in the in the universal rule book. But what it's also is it's allowing me to figure this out for myself. Uh, right, switch these points. I don't think that did anything. I think it did. I don't. All right. Well, give us just a give us just a gentle nudge of forwards. We should uh, we should head over to the right here. Let's have a look based on the cue that I just pressed. I don't think you were far enough clear of the points for that to to, uh, to catch. No, I wasn't. Okay, all right, okay, that's all right. 
this, again, I don't know how far clear of the points you have to be in order for them to quote unquote catch. Uh, but uh, here's how we're going to find out. Right, there we go. Back her up. Of course, the, uh, during all of this dithering around that I'm I'm currently partaking in, the uh, the the blocking train may get out of my flaming face. So uh, that would be uh, that would be beneficial to all of us. All right, there you go. And now if we tell this to go right, and then stop, and then stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. Uh, Turn it around. Oh, whoa! No, you changed the. You, that, you changed the, That's it. No, no, you, you've got it. That's it. I have. Yeah, you've got it. It's telling you it's the wrong way. No, I know it's the wrong way, but uh, we're going anyway. All right. Okay. In the cab, please. Zoom in. Slow it down. Sound all kinds of warning alarms and klaxons. Klaxons deployed. Yeah. Now the only thing that might have saved me on that one is if uh, if there was another set of points. But we'll just have to see. That's got dead slow, dead slow. All right. All right. Keep your eyes on anything that you can see. This fog bank is amazing. Um, yeah. I don't know where this track goes. Well, it's going to lead to the same kind of place, presumably. There's the train. Okay, this is this is kind of like Wild West train simulation of just yeah okay no no that's set to go right. I I don't have a problem with that. I don't think I can go left, can I? I can. Do you think this is going to let me overtake this train? Well, he's just stopped there for for his own fun and laughs. Is there actually anyone in that cab? No, but we don't. Yes, there is. There he is. That very short, bald gentleman. All right. Okay, we're moving again. Oh wow! Oh, that's great. He was just stopped. What a joker! Oh, there was me patiently waiting, and all I needed to do was just uh, just bypass him. Oh, that's fantastic. And we're coming out of the fog bank. That's also fantastic. Yeah, it is. Okay, right. Smashing. Don't you need to request permission from someone or something? I probably do, but I don't exactly know where we are. Well, well look it up. Cologne, Maine. All right, okay. I don't know if we're going to need to request Cologne, Maine, because we're just going into this service depot and, and turning it around. All right, well, I'll, I'll leave it to your judgment. All right, I am doing. I've been fined. Okay. Good. Well, there was no signal saying that I, I couldn't go through there. No, it's because that idiot's parked up. Yeah, he's he's interfering rudely with the uh, with the smooth uh, operation of the railway. Well, yeah, he is. That's true. Station five hundred meters. Yeah, probably going to want to request a, a, an entry ticket. All right, let's do it. Uh, Cologne, Maine. Hello, services. Yeah, I'd like uh, station access. Thank you. There we are. There's. Uh, I've got clearance, even though I possibly don't need it. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to top off the fuel, and uh, and turn the train around. Splendid, and that that leads us to the end of today's adventure, which we didn't make a lot of track progress, but we did make some progress. All right, do you want to stop? Oh crumbs! Hey! Every time you use the emergency brake like that, you uh, you take a little bit more train damage. Um, Worth it though, yeah. Right, fix all three grand. Uh, no, we're okay at the moment. Uh, refuel all twelve grand. Flipping heck! Yeah, all right. Crumbs. Yeah. Holy crumbs. Yeah, holy crumbs. Right, reverse train direction. Just press it once this time. Done. Exit again. Well, oh, exit back to the you know all of that. Right then. You got a flashing red light there. That's because idiot boy is still sat there. Yeah, there's not a lot I can do about that. Yeah. All right, let's get in motion, and uh, I'll catch up with you next time. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already, because this, uh, this epic journey, which is one that I have no intention of making again in the near future, 
uh, will continue. I say that. I'm going to continue this epic journey. I'm just going to. I know the track is occupied, but he's just sat there. It's like he doesn't know how to talk to the station and go, Hello, I'd like to come out of the station, please. And he's just not doing it. Right, keep Stay on dead slow. We're going to have some point wigglage here. I think you'll be alright. I think you'll be alright. I think you'll be alright. I think we're alright. Okay, give it some juice. Alright, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Alright, this that, this recent adventure delighted me. Delighted me. Uh, getting stuck behind a train. Wonderful. Absolutely superb. Could not. I, I just went, oh, that's, that's fantastic. This is exactly the kind of thing that I was signing up for. Uh, and then the fog bank rolling in as well. I was just like... Oh, this this is the kind of unexpected twist that I was not expecting. Hence, unexpected. But the the downside there is I have a suspicion that in its current form, I think, that, I mean, it's an early access game, so there's work still to be done, but I think that the likelihood of gridlock uh, is very high as it stands right now. I, I have a suspicion that these trains are going to gridlock themselves. If you, if you progress and you build more trains and you've got you know, AI pilots out doing all this, that and the other, I think gridlock is going to happen all over the place. Um, that would be it. That's interesting. I don't know what that clown was waiting for. Uh, the, I, the, the coming end of times, perhaps. But uh, it was worth the fine to get past him. Um, but even then, why was he stopped there? There was no, there was no rhyme or reason to to him being stopped. I waited for two two game hours for him to get a shift on, and he didn't. Anyway, it's a rare old adventure, and I'm having a lovely time. Um, but uh, but yeah, again, don't take a mission that's right up the other end of the map as your first as your first go. It's just not a, it's not a good call. It's it's a bad call, especially since I've just burned through the majority of my cash on refueling the flaming thing. If I don't get there on time, and if the and if the penalty for not arriving on time is you don't get paid at all, then I'm hosed. There, there is nothing more that I can do at that point. Well, that's an excitement uh, cliffhanger kind of moment to end on.